Breaking news right now out of Ottawa. The report on former Governor General Julie Payette has been released. Let's bring in Evan Solomon, who has the latest. Evan, take it away. Yeah, the report, the long-awaited report from Quintet that the government paid $393,000 has just been released. I have it in my hands. Uh, much of it is redacted, as we expected. Redacted means they've blacked out some of the key sections here. Uh, but as we go through it, and over the next hour as we comb through this, let me just give you some details about what we're reading right now. Okay. Uh, Quintet. The private firm that conducted this say from October 19th to the 23rd of November uh, 2020, the review team conducted 92 interviews with participants, 92 interviews, including with current employees, former employees, knowledgeable indiv uh, individuals identified by the review team. Now here's what they found. Um, the overwhelming majority participated confidential, confidentially to raise concerns about the work environment and their individual treatment. 43 participants described the general work environment at Rideau Hall under the uh, former Governor General mm -hmm. Julie Payette and her principal secretary and her friend uh, Sunta De Lorenzo as, quote, hostile, negative, or used another other words to that effect. 26 participants used the word toxic, poison, to describe the general atmosphere uh, during the current mandate. 20 participants reported having witnessed harassment in their workplace or referred to harassment behavior in the workplace. Um, as I've gone through this report, and I'm going through it now, what you're finding is a remarkable series here of people who are saying things like, People were humiliated. They were yelled at. They were dressed down. And I'm over the next uh, few minutes as I go through this report. Um, it is a remarkable, thorough dismembering of the idea that the governor general, these allegations made here, uh, that the governor general could not have known this. These are as I say, 40-plus people talking about toxic harassing. Now, these are allegations. The Governor General has not yet replied to the release of it. It was released a couple minutes ago, and our colleague Michelle Boyer had done an access to information request, and uh, as has all uh, journalist organizations, and this has been released. But the Governor General, in her own initial resignation letter, said she is sorry and that everyone deserves to work in a proper environment. This review clearly lays bare the fact it was, quote, toxic, harassing. It is why the prime minister said people deserve to have a safe environment. This does not sound safe. These are very severe allegations. As we get deeper in, and, and, and I'm looking through, um, the negative work environment descriptions are quite thorough. And uh, in the next couple minutes, I'll be able to give you some quotations from some of these participants. Again, I want people to know that the lawyers have redacted the names for privacy reasons. And um, so you're getting a lot of this, okay? But you're also getting an enormous amount of detail of the allegations in general, all aimed squarely at the former governor general and her principal secretary. Uh, there could be legal fallout on this. These are quite severe allegations. Uh, but the fallout of this report will be tremendous. Yeah, and, and tremendous job there, too. We do uh, realize that that is uh, hot off the press, as they say in the business. And uh, as you pointed to, a lot of redacted comments there, a lot of black on those pages, a lot of breaking news there that you covered for us, Evan. I know you're going to go through that now with a fine-tooth comb. And once again, just to re reiterate from you, uh, to piggyback that these are allegations are not proven in court. Uh, but we're going to let you go back to that big report on uh, the former Governor General of Canada, Julie Payette, and these allegations of harassment. And uh, we look forward uh, to having you back if you have time to uh, do another deep dive into that. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Anita. That is CTV News' Evan Solomon in Ottawa. Huge story we're following here on CTV News Channel. Meantime